Well, hey everybody, long time no see. Just got back from a little family road trip uh, last week to South Carolina. It's really, it's really hot down there. Uh, but before I left, this thing arrived. And I wasn't actually gonna make a video on it uh, right now. I was actually working on a fan showdown, but then I realized that the bearings that I have aren't the right size, so I need to order those. So I wanna get this printer back up and running because it's been broken for quite a while. There's a fly in here, but I think it's time to fix it because the parts have finally showed up. And I will be honest with you, I didn't really pay attention to this whole debacle. This is my A1 from Bamboo Labs. Um, I've used it alongside my a x one c P1S, and A1 Mini for a long time until the, the little recall came out. If you remember, this printer had a recall where this cable uh, could fail, which was <laughs> no good. So they told everybody, hey, don't use your printer until you get a new cable for it. Uh, for me at the time, this was like the third printer that I used the most out of all of mine, so I just turned it off. Well, actually, I looked at the cable. I seen that I did have a little bit of bending fatigue, kind of, so I just shut it off. Uh, I filled out the paperwork they sent with the, the recall notice to get a new part. I don't know what it is. I haven't opened it yet. I assume it's just a whole new build plate, probably. And I just didn't use it. I didn't know it was going to take forever. I think I filled that paperwork. I, I guess I can look at my phone over there. Looks like I originally got the email about this recall uh, February 4th this year, and I filled out the paperwork not long after that. And the printer's been just broken. I mean, I guess technically it still prints, but if there's an issue with the cable, possibly catching fire. I wasn't planning on using it, so it's just kind of nope. been sitting since February. And this actually came, so I was in South Carolina last week, right? I got back home right before the week of the 4th of July. I think this came the week before that, so it just, you know, relatively recently showed up. And that means that this printer has not been working the entire time, which if this was your primary printer, if you had just one printer like most people do, that would really suck. Now, from the limited looking into this that I did, which is let me say, minimal, minimal effort, I just turned mine off and said, I'll just wait for the part to come. But I think I saw something where Bamboo was like prioritizing print farms first and then actual customers before it got to YouTubers like me. I didn't buy this printer, it was sent to me, so I got notified from my contact at Bamboo Labs. I filled out the paperwork like the form showing the serial number and which internal printer that they sent out was it for. So I think it was in a different pool, but either way, it took quite a while to get here, but it's, it's finally here. We're going to put it in today and see how, how much work uh, this little fix for this recall is, and then maybe we'll cut my cable over and see if we see any damage. Let's see what they sent us first off. Yeah, it looks like a whole new, whole new heated build plate. Is there any instructions on what's this? What is this? <laughs> Find out later, it's got some screws that came with it. And that looks like it. So actually there's a QR code right here and I scanned it. It takes you right to the link for how to replace Bamboo's heated build plate. So that's pretty convenient, kind of like a Bamboo thing. They have all the tutorials and information you need. I think it's done. That was actually, it was, it was pretty simple. The little nose looking thing, uh, it looks like it's just a bumper on the back to, I assume, keep you from pushing up against the wall and bending the cable. But either way, the uh, replacement parts were quite easy. I guess we'll turn it on and see if it catches fire. All right, let's see if we can home it. As soon as everything's working just fine, I will Try to heat the bed, obviously, to see if that works. Okay, everything looks to be heating up normal, which is good. It's good to have this thing back up and running. I do have a video planned after this next fan showdown where we'll, we'll actually test it and make sure it does print like it used to be, or used to, which I'm sure it will. I'm sure it'll be just fine. Now, I know when you hear about a recall on a piece of equipment, people tend to lose their minds, and I've been a big fan of Bamboo Labs, so 
Other than this, this is actually the only thing I've ever had gone wrong with a, with a bamboo. Well, that's not true. This is the second thing I've had go wrong with a bamboo printer. I guess we can go through my printer. So I have the X1C, this one I've had the longest. I've had, it has about almost 1200 print hours on it. And I haven't had any, issue, any issues with that. Same stock build plate, same stock head, nozzle, wiper, all the stuff in it is exactly how it came out of the box. No, no issues to speak of, just doing the normal maintenance, wiping down the carbon rails and lubing up the lead screws. That, that took me a minute. Uh, no issues on the next one. C. the P1S has almost 400 hours on that one. And again, same thing, I've done nothing with that. Same stock head, stock wipers, just cleaned the, uh, the carbon rods, lubed up the guide rods or the lead screws, and it's been working fine. The A1, I don't know if I can see the hours on this thing. I haven't used it very much. Obviously I used it when I got it, and then in February when they said the cable could go bad on the old stock build plate, I just kind of shut it off. So let's we'll see how many hours I have on it, if it does tell me. 125 hours, that's more than I, more than I thought. And during that time I printed TPU, ASA, uh, PLA, you know, just the normal stuff. No printing issues, everything runs for the most part right, right out of the slicer. I've had only a handful of prints fail, uh, ones at work where I print ASA most of the time came unstuck from the build plate. For the most part, everything here with PLA kind of runs like a top. Uh, the A1 Mini, it has 180 hours on it. And again, no, no issues. Everything I've printed on that thing has worked fine. I've had maybe a few prints come unstuck when the, when the build plate maybe is a little dirty. Normally I, I'm pretty good about wiping off the build plate with IPA. I do use glue stick as well before I start printing and I don't have many issues with it not sticking. The one at work though, I have had a couple issues with that. So I have another X1C at the office. It probably has maybe a little more hours than this one. I think it's just a hair over 1200. I can't remember for sure. Pretty much only print ASA on that one. So I clean the guide rod or I clean the carbon rods and I, I lube the guide, the, the lead rod screw. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say, but I, lead, I lube it up quite often because that ASA kind of outgasses and it gets called grimy inside. But the one at work, I've only had issues with it sticking to the build plate Occasionally when I'm printing really, really finicky stuff that kind of sometimes pops off, then I'll clean the build plate, put a little glue stick down, and it'll reprint it without an issue. However, when I did get that printer at work, the control board inside of the head was actually bad. Um, and this was a printer we bought. It wasn't like Bamboo sent it to me from my YouTube channel. We bought it for the office. So I had to go through the whole ticket process of their customer service, which is a bit clunky, but in the end, I did get a replacement board from them with that for, for no cost. I put it in the printer at work and I haven't had any issues with it since. The AMS system is kind of the only thing that I kind of pay attention to or make sure I monitor more often than not because I found that I tend to leave spools sit in my AMSs, not the lights. The lights seem to do a little better, but they do have the same issue. And if you, when you leave the filament sitting in the AMS, eventually it does get brittle. Um, even though I have Deskin in there and it keeps the humidity quite low, right where the filament enters the, the extruder out of the AMS, it tends to break, which really sucks because when it backs off, it breaks the filament, it doesn't retract it all the way and you kind of get in this limbo where you have to take the whole thing apart, pull the filament out and replace it. This, I've had it do the same, not as much as those AMSs for some reason, but it tends to break when it gets old right at the end and then you have to kind of dig it out. It's easier on that than it is that one. But that's pretty much it. Just making sure that I, if I know that there's a, there's material in there that I'm not going to use for quite a while. I'll normally pull it out of the extruder and just kind of leave it sitting there until I'm ready to use. That way it doesn't break when I eventually try to use it and then I have to fish it all out and re restring it. But all in all, for the most part, the bamboo printers have worked great for me other than this issue, which is a bummer if it's the one and only printer you have and you have to wait forever for the build plate to get to you. I'm curious to know that if you have an A1 that you purchased yourself, they didn't send it to you or it's for like a commercial print farm, how long did it take for you to get your build plate? Because if I had this one as my only printer, and in February I got the news that I shouldn't use it because it could catch fire, and I had to wait until roughly about a, three or four weeks ago till the part actually showed up to start using the printer again, that would have been a huge bummer. Now, it wasn't a huge deal to just let it sit idle while I waited for the part to arrive. I'd much rather have them send the parts to people that purchase the printers or running print farms than to just fix creators, printers that have the same issue. But I'm glad that it's here. I do have a project for it that uh, we will get started on after I get done with this one. And I have to go back over there and order those bearings for this part. So I hope you stick around. I hope you get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.